welcome to my show. My name is Carolyn. I am a creative entrepreneur and retired comedian who works in the startup and tech world. Today I'm going to review 10 goals that I made for myself when I first graduated from college of things that I wanted to do before I turned 30. This was back right when I graduated college, hadn't even gotten a job yet, and was just sitting in my dad's living room applying for jobs every day and feeling pretty excited, nervous, and terrified, and just really stressed out in general. So we're gonna take a look, evaluate it, see how I did, and also look at what I actually accomplished before I turned 30. But before we get started, please, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe or decide to do so once you've watched the video a bit and decided whether or not I am worthy of your attention. Let's get started. Today I'm going to review the 10 things I wanted to accomplish before I turned 30 and to be completely transparent, this isn't going to be a true blind react. I did take a look at this list back in January of 2020, just before I turned 30 and was thinking about this and thinking about how much time had passed and how much time had changed, blah, 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 blah. So it's gonna be pretty close. Don't remember it completely, but it's not gonna be a true react. Eventually, if I make it to 40 and I still have a YouTube channel, I will do a true blind react and we'll have fun with that. It'll be great. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull up the list right here. Yeah, there's, there's literally no script for this episode. I'm just gonna be looking and reading. All right, so the, it's a Google Doc that I made. The document is just called Goals. That's it. Nothing specific. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Things I want to accomplish in the next 10 years created June 5th, 2014. I actually added that after, but that, that was the date, 2014. So technically, I still have time. But I'm, I'm counting it as things I wanted to do before I turned 30, because that was kind of what I meant. All right, number one make at least one feature film. Number two, write at least one fiction novel. Those are two massive projects. <laughs> Number three, write at least three feature screenplays. <laughs> Number four, write something every day. If that includes emails and text messages, I was successful. <laughs> Number five, write a memoir. I actually did start, whatever, okay. Buddy has escaped. Number six, go on adventures. Definitely did that. Number seven, try to start a regular YouTube channel or a web series. Did the web series. Number eight, write at least one children's book. Ah, I told a lot of kids a lot of stories, so that counts. And number nine, write at least one TV pilot. Knocked that one out of the park. And number 10, be as happy and as enthusiastic as I can. That's so sweet. I was stressed. I was hoping for things. I continued to be stressed. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this list. When I graduated from college, I had graduated with a film major, which is why there are so many specific projects based off of filming and things like that. Thus, the making a feature film, making a web series, making this. And my mindset with this list was these are the things I would love to do. Some of them felt realistic, some of them didn't. But I also was more than willing to give myself some leeway. So like, if I did more of of one thing than the other, I was like, okay, cool, I'm gonna be down for that. Like, that will cover this, That's that will cover whatever. So looking at this list, I didn't make one feature film. It's true. I did make several short films, and I made 15 episodes of a web series called Dave Dave. It's actually still on this channel, so if you want to watch it, you can check it out. It is only mildly embarrassing. No, it's actually really cute. I'm still really proud of it, but it's mildly embarrassing because it's like me. <laughs> from, uh, gosh, like six years ago, something like that. I read at least one fiction novel. The big things were the books. I didn't write any books. I didn't write three feature film screenplays, but I wrote three comedy TV pilots. So kind of similar, kind of different. Um, I finished one feature film screenplay, started a handful of others, didn't finish them. I actually, I did start writing a memoir. I what Basically what I did was I took all of my stand-up sets that I had been performing or writing and never performing and I was putting them all together into a memoir and I got pretty substantially far into that. So I'm gonna count that. I, it's not finished, but it is long enough that it could be feasibly uh, fairly easily. So I may go back to that someday. Buddy's crying. Come here. All right, Buddy's here. Yeah, so what else is on here? I've got create something every day. Kind of unrealistic, kind of realistic. I probably did, you know, 
write an extreme amount. And that, you know, includes social media posts, uh, messaging friends, or writing things for work. I'm just gonna say I accomplished writing something or making something every day, because I'm pretty sure I did, and I painted quite a bit, which is something I don't really talk about on YouTube, but I do paint a lot. Yeah, so writing a TV pilot, being happy and as enthusiastic as I can, I tried! <laughs> Anxiety, huh? So in January of 2021, after I realized that I had made this document, I wanted to you know, acknowledge what I had accomplished and what I was feeling proud of. So here I have below my list of things I wanted to accomplish, I have my list of things I accomplished by January 17th, 2021 that were on my original list. I finished one feature film script. Amazing. I wrote three comedy TV pilots. I wrote hundreds of comedy sketches and jokes, that is true, and I said many more jokes that never went very well. I made dozens of paintings and artworks, and took possibly thousands of pictures. Honestly, it might be millions. It really might. I curated content um, for all sorts of different platforms. Of course, I, like, I've played with TikTok, I've played with Snapchat, I've played with everything, basically. Is there anything I haven't played with? OnlyFans. I have not done OnlyFans. I don't have that type. I am not really sexy. Am I? Create content for all sorts of different platforms and of course wrote and filmed a lot. That is very true. Number five, wrote several stand-up sets slash memoir chapters but felt I needed more life experience. That's true. That's why I stopped doing it. I felt like I needed to exist a little bit longer as I just felt like a lot of the same stories I've been telling since I was a little kid well, wasn't that interesting. So the adventures question. I went on many adventures in my 20s. So the Toronto International Film Festival. I did that right after graduating college. All right, the Austin Film Festival screenplay competition. I did do that. My first feature film screenplay was a quarterfinalist in the Austin Film Festival screenplay competition. I got like free tickets or something to the Austin Film Festival. It was so much fun. Went to Seattle with my parent-in-laws. My in-laws, that's what you call them, in-laws. I went to many trips to Jackson Hall. My mom lived there for a long time now. She lives down the street, so. Thanks, Mom. I went to Croatia with my in-laws. I went to Iceland with my in-laws. I went to New York. I lived in New York. I guess living in New York is an adventure in and of itself. Sasha has escaped. Jeez, none of these guys are really good at filming, huh? Cats. And I moved twice from to New No, I moved three times. Duh. I moved to New York, to Connecticut, and to Minnesota. That's three, not two. Goodness, this is incorrect. I went, went to and performed a ton of comedy shows. I went to Anderson Cooper's Christmas party twice. <laughs> Ooh, that's a story for another time. Oh, I married Dave. I did, I did marry Dave. That says et cetera. I think that's everything, all, all the trips I went on. I'm sure I'm missing things. It, it is crazy how many things that you can do in a decade. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that's not even a decade technically. Oh, yeah, okay, so that was things that I accomplished by um, January 17th that were on my list, and now things that I accomplished that were unexpected. Ooh, okay, I'm so good at lists. I just enjoy making lists. I got jobs in advertising, freelance comedy, retail at J. Crew, venture capital, and at a grocery delivery startup during a pandemic. <laughs> what? What was my life? I made a comedy game called Journey to Hell. <laughs> um, I became far more confident about working in the business and startup world um, and not nearly as afraid as when I started. That is completely true. I now am so much more confident about my career in general. I have no idea what, what it's doing, but I have confidence that I can do so and uh, thrive and do whatever. I developed a better relationship with my mom. Seriously, actually, I, I really did that. Buddy, no crying. Come in. He won't come in. He meows. He goes, mama, mama, mama. Monster. Number five, I helped my dad with his struggles with cancer. That was definitely a trip. Number six, I created three fully fleshed out startup ideas and learned a lot, even though none of them happened. <laughs> Yet. Yet there is still time for me to do such a thing because uh, I still exist in the world and You don't have to do everything that you want to do in your life before you turn 30 You can do it after that too. Bonus points. I met some incredible people and made many friends and found many advisors and mentors Got married to Dave in Jackson Hole, Wyoming and all of our family members behaved. Hooray! They did not fight. Excellent news. All right I got to renovate my first home and become a homeowner it wasn't even something that was on my radar back in 2014 so that was 
really cool. Oh, that's cute. It says I really felt like I became a part of the family with my in-laws. Sweet. Clearly did this at the middle of the night when I was feeling sappy. Twelve! Survived pandemic, at least so far. <laughs> and didn't fall for any insane conspiracy theories. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> did it. That's funny. I wrote, must have done this right after the insurrection, so that was part of my thought process. Feel far more content, but um, still anxious, but no longer outright terrified. Yes, I did. I did exactly that. I figured out my fashion sense at least a little bit. Still way more room for improvement. Luckily, fancy sneakers became work appropriate. Yes, thank God. I do not wear heels. I'm having way too much fun filming this. 15, I learned that I'm far more capable and that having a positive attitude makes an enormous difference. That's something I truly believe and talk about on this channel all the time. I started reading a lot more in 2018 and it's been a little bit on and off, but I really appreciate how it's become a bigger part in my life. Yeah, so that was my list of all of the things I wanted to accomplish, all of the things that I accomplished that were kind of on my list, and all of the things that I accomplished that I had never even anticipated. I hope this can give you better either perspective if you're a young person and you're trying to figure out what are the things that you want to do. I don't want to encourage people to make massive lists, but something I do think is really cool, which I think I've talked about in other videos, is giving yourself ambitious goals to accomplish and then trying to accomplish them as quickly as possible. You know, the majority of the things that were on my original list, you know, when it came to writing scripts or making things or filming things, were all things I ended up doing within like a three year period. I managed to get through the majority of that list, or at least what I'll, I'll say counts. My list of things I wanted to accomplish was just 10 short lines, and the list of things that I did accomplish was like 30 plus. So, I think that's just something to keep in mind if you're ever putting something like this together or trying to figure out what are things that you want to accomplish or you want to do in the next few um, several years that you have. And also to remember that life isn't going to end when you turn 30. Look, I'm still alive. I exist. I still regularly get carded everywhere I go. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. There is going to be a part two to this video, and I'm not going to change my outfit because I'm going to film it right now, and you're just going to have to wait. So come back next time. We're going to create a time capsule together of what are all the things that I want to accomplish before I turn 40. And yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you uh, like this video, please like it. It makes such a big difference when it comes to the algorithm gods. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and thank you so much. Bye!